C'est sa deuxième participation aux internationaux de France. Il détient le record de victoire en Roland Garros, où il est imposé à neuf reprises. 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014. Il est espagnol. Sam Grove. Ready? Black. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Wide by Nadal, so two game points for Groth, who was complaining about yeah, Spider Cam. Just in his line of vision. Groth. Second ace. A little skip there from Groth as he comes in at the end of the first game. And that's... Oh. Nicely done by Nadal. That is a great return from a very awkward serve to deal with, and Rafa gets that early break. <laughs> he chased absolutely everything there, Sam Groth. And Rafa just strolled around the court. Halt to zero. Only one winner in this point. All, so. I can think is he's decent in doubles as well. Nadal is everywhere. I think he fancies his chances of wrapping. Two now from the love side, which have gone rocketing oh, past yeah. growth. One. Too good again. Three superb returns of serve. Rafa Nadal. He's trying to win. Something to tell his children in years to come, isn't it? You've played Nadal at Roland Garros. Nice touch. Potentially the year that Nadal goes on to win. A lot of spin. Look at the numbers on Groth's serve already, and, and the Groth serve is his biggest part of his game. I mean, how many okay, points is wing on his second serve? One from eight. You know, that, that's that's the, the issue that he's got. He's playing one of the best returners in the game. So well measured. It is an exemplary opening set from Rafa Nadal. Compare that with the 363 victories notched up by the man in your picture. Sweetly struck. Beautifully executed <laughs> from the Dow. It wasn't a bad volley, was it? Yeah. Plenty of depth on it. But. Exactly. This time Groff was hitting it from the top down, so nice depth, but uh, from such a tough position. You can see it here one more time how Rafa finds the stability to accelerate his arm. Excellent timing there. Well, he's trying some different tactics, isn't he? But 
at the moment. Rafael Nadal is having the last word. That's excellent. What a way to recognize the short ball, get up to it, and really adjust to it. Nothing going his way. You have a better chance of uh, having the ball roll over the, the net. <laughs> no comment needed. <laughs> Trying to G himself up. He's giving it everything. That's more like it. Well, don't you love those microphones behind the court? <laughs> That's a smart lob uh, from Rafa going over the back and wing of uh, the Australian. The red dirt. Three set points, Nadal. Needs only one. And that set has come and gone in the blink of an eye, even faster than the first. Sam Groff with just two games to show for his blood, sweat and tears. Nadal. This match is not even an hour old. And that was a wonderful volley. It just shows you what it... Get out of town, mate. <laughs> well, Nadal illustrating there how quickly he can turn defence into attack. I just love the quote from Sam. I mean, <laughs> that's priceless. Get out of town, mate. Later. <laughs> oh, breathtaking stuff. Groff hits the baseline. Still makes no difference. The ball fizzing past his right ear. And his bid for that. Tenth title, and he's at it again. Is he on the sideline? A very unique point. You don't see many points like that one by Groff. Mark of the Nadal superiority. <laughs> and the few successes that Just Sam Groff is getting. He's relentless, isn't he, in the pressure he applies. Bit of a Nadal showreel at the moment. The trouble is that Nadal already knows what's coming. He knows that uh, the first ball he hits needs to go low, as Groff is uh, serving and rolling on 90% of the serves. That's not nearly good enough. A very visible. That uh, prep by Sam. First of all, he stopped his leg, so already. You know, in your peripheral vision, you see that your opponent is doing something different, and uh, Rafa is just baseline. He has absolutely no chance against Nadal. But it's still a comfortable service hold for Rafa Nadal. The week. Oh. Well, Nadal lucky off the let call, but it wasn't a terribly convincing volley from Sam Groth. That was a very high He's ball, and uh, to no avail. Crowd oh, getting overexcited at the thought of a. Well, Sam the Groff French face crowd the game. always cheers for the underdog. <laughs> and there you go, a primal scream of delight from Sam Groff and the crowd. In his third game of this match against the great Rafael. Nadal, who's still two breaks clear, 4-1 in the third. Looking to close this out with a minimum of fuss.
Is no there way. anything this man cannot do? <laughs> A hot dog winner. <laughs> that could be the shot of the tournament, and it's just the third day. And even Sam Groth can smile about that. And even Rafa smiles, which we don't see that often in the matches, thanks to his concentration. <laughs> Spectacular. Brilliant. Oh, it's so good to see Rafa coming in because uh, he does create a oh. as it home. Stein to check the mark again. French Empire, but uh, the crowd is not happy with him. <laughs> they are ruthless, aren't they? The Parisian crowds. Get behind Groth. They want to see more of a contest. But it's nearly done. There's another winner from the Dow. What a way to bring up. The nine times champion wraps it up in the blink of an eye in the opening round. Rafael Nadal utterly dominant against the big serving Australian Sam Groth. No emotion from his coach, Uncle Tony, but Nadal will be delighted with that. And the efficiency and ruthlessness of his display. Absolutely amazing career and it's wonderful to have you on, on our team. And um, please welcome Rafael Nadal.